While the race is on to get more H1N1 vaccines, many people are wondering what they can do to avoid getting the flu. CBS 2's Derek Blakely talked to a homeopathic doctor about whether your favorite home remedies are really effective, and he joins us now with the answer. I know this is a concern in, within families all over Chicago and all over the nation. It's on everyone's mind right now, and everyone, it seems, has ideas about vitamins or supplements or dietary aids that can help ward off colds or even the flu. But do they work? Well, an experienced Chicago osteopath says, for the most part, they don't. As flu season kicks in, there's no magic method for keeping yourself healthy, just common sense. Well, the usual stuff, fruits, vegetables, sleep, exercise, and also you want to stay away from uh, refined sweets, the pops, uh, chocolates, cake, stuff like that. That's the basic advice from veteran Chicago osteopath Dane Shepard, who says supplements can be effective, but not the ones your parents passed on, like cod liver oil. There are 60 antioxidants that you want to combine together for synergy. Uh, cod liver oil, fish oil, and so on, uh, they contain some, but not all. They won't work as efficiently. So how about the old standby, vitamin C? Just one thing, vitamin C, cod liver oil, no. It has to be a combo. Dr. Shepard says products like the LifePak Nano, manufactured by New Skin Products, has just that kind of combination, plus something else, carotenoids. Uh, carotenoids are the pigments of fruits and vegetables, and these block free radicals and prevent tissue destruction. But traditionalists stress that none of these health aids can substitute for the flu avoidance measures that you've heard over and over again. They don't substitute for making sure the kids cover their cough, that kids make, they make sure that they wash their hands. As for the vaccine itself, Dr. Shepard says he has concerns about administering the H1N1 vaccine to people who are already seriously ill or to those taking multiple drugs already. The vast majority of the public can take this shot, but it's, uh, but it's the few, maybe the 10, 15 percent of the population that might be at risk for some other problem. By the way, Chicago health officials say they'll eventually receive two million doses of the H1N1 vaccine. They think that's plenty for anyone who'll want a shot. But the first to receive those vaccines will be those most at risk, pregnant women, child care workers, health care workers, and young children. Yeah, I'm not sure how conclusive this was, but I mean, it is a conversation I think that everybody's having. Yeah, said a you, moment ago. you mentioned zinc. Other people take echi uh, echinacea. Echinacea, yep. And uh, he said echinacea is good, but only if you catch that cold or flu right in the beginning. The first 12 or 24 hours after that, no good. And stay away from chocolate and cake. I'm sure people are like, what? Yeah, it's the holiday Comfort season. Comfort food? Come on. Give yeah. us a break. Right. Thanks, Derek. Appreciate it.